This is a test pilot program, but if it went citywide, the estimate is that we would lose 150,000 parking spots on the street citywide. And if you drive and try to park in this city, you already know that sidewalk sheds like this and bike parking spot, bike racks also taking up a lot of spots. So the question just becoming what's more important, parking or potentially getting rid of those rats? It's an endless nightly routine for some New Yorkers circling for street parking. It's impossible, very impossible. I'm bouncing from side to side like people are fighting over parking spots. But rats have their own nightly routine, feasting courtesy of all these black garbage bags. The rats is out of control out here. Finding a parking spot in the city could get even harder under a proposed Department of Sanitation plan known as the Containerization of New York. These large shared containers could take up 10 to 25 percent of curb space on any given block for a loss of 150,000 parking spots citywide. Other cities like London, Paris and Amsterdam already use the containers and the city's sanitation commissioner tells PIX11 it's necessary to get the black garbage bags off the streets. 24 million pounds a day are filled with 8 million pounds of food and unfortunately rats eat the same food that humans eat. The shared containers will be tested in a pilot program this fall on 10 blocks in Morningside Heights and Hamilton Heights. That city councilman Sean Abreu's district where rat complaints are on the rise. PIX11 actually broke the story in the fall and this is now the culmination of constituents really complaining about the garbage buildup outside of schools. Drivers like Peter, though, say enough is enough between the city bike racks and the street sheds for restaurants. How many parking spots can we lose before there are no more? Why don't they just say they don't want cars in New York? We got diplomat spots, all kinds of spots already that, you know, regular folks can't park in. I asked the sanitation commissioner to respond to complaints about potential lost parking. I want to be really clear that this was just a feasibility study. We are not contemplating today removing any parking spots. So rats or parking? That is the question. Do you want rats on your streets or do you want parking? It's a lot of parking spaces, but it's like 10 million rats. <laughs> And as you heard there, again, this is a pilot program for now, 10 blocks, but the city's report does say that whatever information is gathered from this pilot program will be used for further expansion.